the ball through the hole? Will the ball go through? So the ball will pass through. So what you're going to do now is to put that into the Bunsen burner flame, you're going to get the, just the ball hot. But wait a minute, we don't really want to put it in a yellow flame. We're going to convert that to a blue roaring flame so it gets really hot. And what you're going to do now, this one you keep cool, so we're not going to put that one in the flame. And that one you're going to get really, really hot. So you're going to hold it at the tip of the blue cone. Just on the top of that cone is the hottest part of the flame. Hold it there for a minute or two. Right, right. You can turn it if you like and warm up on both sides. So you know you've been heating it for a while. It should be really hot. And now what we're going to do is try to pass it through the hoop again. Take it out. Does it fit? No. It's stuck. It won't fit through the hoop. Let it go cool now, and we'll come back to that later. Okay, so now it's been down on there, it's cooled down. Let's now have a look to see if it will fit through the hoop again. So pick it up and see if you can pass it through. Okay, so now it's not so big. So now we've got to explain that in terms of particles and how the particles are moving. We'll now explain our observations with the ball and the hoop by using the particle theory of matter. The particle theory of matter allows us to think of every piece of matter being made up of small particles. Those particles might be atoms, they might be molecules, but they're small particles. And for a simple diagram, here's our ball made up of these small particles. The ball is made of a solid, it's metal, and the particles are very close uh, together they're arranged in a regular lattice pattern. So here we might have the atoms that are in that ball all very close together, unable to move from place to place. In fact, the only movement they have is a little bit of vibration. They can vibrate backwards and forwards, up and down, in and out in the three dimensions. When we place the Bunsen burner underneath, we're providing those uh, particles with some energy and the energy causes them to vibrate a little bit faster. And when they vibrate a little bit faster, they push the balls that are near to them a little bit further apart. And they take up a little bit more space. And so the volume has increased. So the volume of our sphere increased when it was heated in the Bunsen flame. When it was allowed to cool down, the particles lose energy and they go back to the position where they started. So that's our explanation of why the ball wouldn't pass through the hoop when it had been heated. It expanded because the particles had gained some energy and they were vibrating a little bit faster. I hope that's helped you to understand the ball and hoop experiment.